So, bro, we'll take the best good from you. Good evening. Okay, uh, my name is Hajia Mimuna Aoudou. Uh, I'm an executive retired. Um, I'm one of uh, the people, the group that are honoring our one of our own, the present uh, vice chancellor of uh, Joseph Tawan, Tawan Taka University, Mark Odi, Professor uh, I. N. Itodo. We, we are classmates, he is one of us. We were the first set of that school. Um, we enrolled there in 1981, and by the grace of God, we graduated, we graduated from there in 1986, along with him. Today, we have put ourselves together as his classmates, who are celebrating him for that great achievement, that appointment. By the grace of God, with him, which is, uh, with his appointment in that place, in fact, he has already commenced. I was in the university, um, I think on Tuesday or so this week, and I saw the great things he has started doing. I want to assure the people of uh, Benue State and Nigeria as a whole that he's going to leave a very serious landmark in that place. He's going to move the school to the next level. He is an alumnus, he is one of us. We started there, we knew how that place had been, and he had been there with them. He grew from there, from the roots to the, to the top of where he is as a professor in that place. And uh, he know the in and out, he know the problems, he know the challenges, and by the grace of God, God will use him to provide solution to the challenges of that university. And he's going to develop that to, to the surprise of the whole people. He's going to move that university to a very great height by the grace of God. Government should take uh, education more seriously. Government should provide more funds, more, more resources to the university. Because a nation that has, you know, that has a good uh, education has everything. So my, 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 uh, my advice to the, to the government is that they should try to improve the budgetary allocation to education. They should take the, the, the education very seriously. And, you know, it, currently it is it's so disheartening the way they are treating the, the university lecturers. You know, and the, the impact goes down to the students and to the education you know, sector as a whole. They should take them seriously, they should give them what is due to them, and then they are good to go. Professor Isaac Nathaniel Lektodo is an eminent scholar and an eminent engineer. He's uh, well respected in the academia and he's also well respected in the Forum of Engineers. A fellow of the Academy of Engineering, a fellow of the Nigerian Society of Engineers. Uh, one remarkable thing about the professor, apart from his uh, intellect, is his patience. He's a diligent and very patient human being. And uh, that is what, is what has endeared him to me and many other people. So on this occasion of uh, this party, so I'd like to congratulate him. And let's remind him that uh, good can only be a good. The good he has done has made many people come. His classmates have come around to invite other people to come and celebrate him. So he should continue to do good and do even more good. So on that account, I wish him well. Something at this time, and I can share, uh, share that uh, there's going to be a major growth both in infrastructure development and the quality of education in the university. So, to bring fundamental improvements in the academic infrastructure, commodious departmental buildings. Better aesthetics for the university. Better improved library conditions. Improve student hostels. And uh, some of those key aspects that has to do with the parameters they use to assess universities and rank universities. Um, 
So those are my priority items to deal with as the vice chancellor. It doesn't make sense to compare because the, the issues of that time are not the matters of today. Um, those days, universities were not even compared. Um, but now universities are compared against basic international standards. And um, those standards are well known. And every university is striving to win those standards. The government is doing the best it can. They are competing needs. They are, they are, they are needs in the educational sector, in the health sector, right? Even in the rural sector. And uh, I think government is doing the best it can. And uh, we must continue to encourage government so that whatever money is given is put to good use and then so that we can get better results. Uh, education is the bedrock of all development. And uh, for me and for every Nigerian, education should remain a priority for government. And we're happy that even the private sector is becoming involved in educational development in this country as a good development. And um, hopefully the narratives will change on Nigerian education very soon. You can trust Nigerians. Nigerians are ingenious. And I can assure you that in no time, in no time, even those that are ranked and we're talking about now, it didn't start one day. Development is like building a house. You put a block on one, put another coach, and then you continue to put another coach. So the Nigerian universities will only continue, will only continue to get better and better. I want to particularly appreciate the record of Engineer Kashimari, who is our very senior professional colleague, a one-time president of the Nigerian Society of Engineers and Council of Registered Engineers in Nigeria, as well as the and Professor Chefu, the secretary of the committee of Vice Chancellor of Nigeria. Having said that, you know God does everything, but God uses human beings. And uh, today we are all here because the chairman of council. Like she said, God used her to make to get the Dodo to the Vice Chancellor. Uh, because she resisted all overtures. She could have taken her money and met whoever they want the Vice Chancellor. I think, apart from celebrating Dodo, we should celebrate that woman of integrity, that woman of excellence. So, we are here to celebrate commitment, perseverance, doggedness. And we never gave up. Five years ago, uh, I knew how far we went. He was the best, but unfortunately, God says it was not time. And he waited patiently. And today, we are here celebrating. Uh, on a final note, what the it was said, I hope we will be able to hold this kind of occasion, maybe sometimes rotate to Makodi, and be able to do something for the alpha matter. Because you are what you are today, because you went to Makodi. Whether you are a professor, you are an engineer, you are chairman, CEO of your private company, Makodi had a role to play in your life. And last day, not the least, please, uh, we should all contribute to make sure Professor Itodo succeeds. Yes. Professor Itodo, for you, go there and make the mark. Let them see why we should have an alumni, an, an alumnus of the university to be vice chancellor. So on that note, I've been asked to present this plaque on the appointment 
as the first and most vice chancellor of Joseph Sawan University in Thank you.